Hey you guys, today I'm gonna show you how I achieved this look. Um, this is my simple but chic New Year's look um, in under 30 minutes. If you wanna see how I achieved this look, continue watching. So first I'm gonna show you how I installed my glueless frontal custom lace wig that I made probably about a month ago. Um, I use olive oil mousse. Um, that's really the trick to having it glueless without having to do all the got to be and stuff. And the band that's attached to my wig. But um, I, you can really use any kind of mousse as long as it has a hold to it. Because that's what's actually going to keep your wig on. Besides, like, you know, if you wanted to use glue or anything. But I just prefer to use glueless because it basically, um, that mousse foams not foams it it molds to your head so like you could take the wig on and off like it's a basketball hat and of course i'm i'm really indecisive when i wear my wigs so you know you might see me going in and plucking it again and pulling more hair from here and pulling more hair from there because when i made this wig i was rushing to go somewhere And as you can see, I keep on fiddling with this little sad tab, the little ear, what do you call it, a sideburn? I don't really care about it any other time. I only was putting it down for y'all because everybody that knows me know I don't put my sideburns down. I just, if you, if you see my, if you see my little nigga naps coming from under my wig, you're looking a little too close. You need to back up, okay? So, you know, just make sure them edges is in place and everything is in place um, the way you want it to lay for that time being before you tie your hair down. Now, I always have somebody help me to hold my hair up when I tie my hair down, but I didn't at that point, so I had to clip it up. Um, I use, I guess these are called the the, the wrapping strips. Um, I normally use a bandana. Um, the bandanas are easier, especially when it comes to glue and foam, because they, the, band, the cotton bandanas don't really stick to the product like the, these um, wrapping strips do, but today um, when I did my hair, it didn't it didn't stick, so I was kind of shocked. I didn't even bother go buy another bandana because I lost all of them. I know y'all probably wondering like, why am I making my part any wider? Me personally, when it comes to side parts, I feel like the wider, the more natural looking it looks to me. And as far as the middle part, no, I don't like no wide middle part. But sad parts, yeah, I want that shit to look like it's growing out of my scalp. So, you know, before, every time before I go flat ironing or curling or styling my hair, I always make sure that the um, top is pressed really, really flat because nobody wants no big speed bump or humps, humpy looking weave because... Obviously, the point of a frontal is to um, have a realistic look to it. So now I'm going in with my hot tools. Um, I want to say this is a one and one fourth or one and one third, or it might be one and two thirds. Um, it's a Mars. It's a a a, a corded uh, Marcel iron and. I didn't know it was a Marcel iron when I bought it, but I quickly found out when I opened it when I got to the shop. Um, of course, it just gives you barrel curls. Of course, it gets hot, but it doesn't get super, super hot like a actual stove Marcel iron. So that's a good thing. But it is harder to use on yourself. Um, I know on my right, what side is my part on? On When I go to curl the, the, the side with the bang, I almost burn myself like every time because it's hard to turn it on that side when I'm not left handed. And if you didn't know, I'm telling you now, the key to some long lasting bouncy curls is clipping your hair and pinning it up as you go, whether it be with flexi rods, whether it be with rollers, whether it be with these duckbill clips that I'm using. Well, now I won't use the duckbill clips, but I normally do. But it's no different than the clips I'm using. Duckbill clips are just longer. Um, say if, if you had longer hair or if you were doing bigger pieces, duckbill clips hold the um, curls up more than those little small clips would.
now that I'm done curling my hair, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my makeup. Now, I don't, you know, sometimes I use brow dip, um, but this wasn't a brow dip type of night. This was a straight up eyebrow pencil type of night. And I got this pencil. It's a little cheap eyebrow lip liner slash pencil that um, they sell like in, at the Roger Sutter Beauty Supply Store. I use it for lip liner all the time, but I wanted to use it for my eyebrows tonight because I didn't feel like messing with that brow dip. So it was the, I think it was in the shade dark brown. But of course, you you pick a pencil that's designed for your skin tone. I then went in with my Morphe brush. It's an angle brush. I don't know what number it is, but it was like $4 from Ulta. Um, with the BK Kiss, um, they have these little these little two-tone um, concealers at the beauty supply store that I buy. And I was using that to conceal my eyebrows. I really don't use anything that's like expensive. Um, I just don't because i'm so indecisive when it comes to when i want to wear makeup and if i want to do makeup today or am i done doing makeup now it's just i'm too indecisive so i don't waste money i always buy you know inexpensive stuff that gets the job done um and i always go in with a black eyeliner pencil like when i get done and fill in my eyebrows to like make them more bold um than what the you see what you see the brown doing and i always mess up when i'm concealing my eyebrows and have to go in and, and clean it up with a black eyebrow pencil because the brown doesn't really um deposit as well over top of concealer if in my opinion so instead of me using a white um primer eyeshadow primer i just went on ahead and finished concealing my eyebrow my eyes with um one of those la girl la pro girl things and i just blended all of that on there and i then began to apply my eyeshadow from my morphe palette i used the um 35r one now my little paper i'm i'm not with my makeup right now and i don't know if the um top of the eyeshadow palette has the names on it but i know for a fact that little plastic piece of paper did and that bin fell out but just know that i went in with like a soft brown first then i came in with orange and then i came in with a darker brown to basically darken up the um the crease area always make sure you go back in and blend 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 because you don't want color here color there color everywhere okay blend so i went in with the um primer that i didn't want to use from the jump to do my cut crease because of course you want that cut crease to pop and the trick to doing a cut crease i'm not good at it but i mean i guess i got i'm getting better but i just put the um primer on my the bottom of my um top eyelid look up as you guys seen and it kind of creates a guideline for you now that first i looked a mess but the second one looked really good when i got done i was really i was really surprised and i was really impressed with myself so for my cut crease i put another orange um it had a little bit of shimmers in it not as much as the um color that I put in my inner corner after I finished applying the first layer of my cut crease because I ended up going back in again and putting some more um, primer in the inner eye corner of my of my eye so that I could put some glitter right there so it could be like kind of sparkly I didn't know what I was doing I was just trying stuff because of course I like to play and make up and see what I can create out of just doing anything
Now there's a tan in the um in the Morphe palette that I'm using to set the concealer under my eyebrows and also to blend the makeup in with the concealed area. Apparently I was too lazy to get up and get my correct concealer. You'll see later that I did not blend my neck like I was supposed to. But just don't don't pay no mind, okay? Because in all the pictures I took, you did not see it. But I am definitely like the inner part of my face is that light, but the outer, the outer part isn't at all. Like I have like a crazy skin type of thing. It's like the my cheeks and stuff, they're really 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 dark the bottom part of them but the top part of them they're really really light so it's like i'm light skin in the middle and then i'm brown skin on the outside I don't know why, but I cannot stand putting makeup on when I have a front on. I be wanting to do my makeup before I do my hair. But then it's like, when you try to do your makeup before you do your hair, when it comes time to doing your hair, it just be like makeup, your hair be just getting stuck all in your face. It's like riding with the windows down with lip gloss on. Like, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. So I took the same brush that I used for my um, darker shades of of eyeshadow and just used that to contour my nose and my cheeks and my whole face just about. going on in and applying highlight and because i did pick up like a rose gold color in the um morphe palette i decided to use rose gold um highlighter um it kind of it just i don't know it just makes me look so happy when i wear rose gold highlighter for some odd reason i don't know maybe i'm tripping
and this was a nyx blush i believe they sell it in like a um a small compartment not compartment but a small like tray by itself in the hair store it was like five dollars um i want to say it was called rosy something i'm probably wrong i'll put it in the um description box so i tried the white eyeliner first and it, it, it did end up being cute but i did have to put black under it um to make my eyes not look so white because that wasn't a go so exactly where this came from this came from mac because it was 20 something dollars um it's there i don't know what it's i don't even know which one it was but i'm lying it was not 20 dollars i'm lying like hell i got this off of the um you know how you go on Mac and they have the little $10 stands? I put this off the $10 stand, so I really don't even know which one it was because all of them were just mixed up because somebody was just looking for something, apparently. And I'm going in with that same brown lip liner and lining my lips. Ooh, juicy. And I went in in two different shades of this ultimate um i think it's about kiss ultimate kiss matte lip pencil um i don't know which two shades it was because i didn't even buy these i don't somebody gave these to me and i was like okay it's looking too pink let me give it a little bit of um you know a little bit of peach to it and that brought it to life honey okay Now, this eyeliner is by BK Kiss 2. It was like a dollar and 99 cent, probably. It wasn't that high. Everything in the hair store is cheap. So, if you're indecisive of whether you want to do makeup or not, just go to the hair store and spend like $80. You'll come out there with a bag full of stuff. And these lashes came from Amazon. Um, I get them off there for, I think it's three, they send you three packs of them for $15. And they last me a long time. So I like them. And they're, everybody always like, oh my God, I love these lashes. Where'd you get them from? Amazon, girl. And yeah, I'll put that in the description box so y'all can order some. So this setting spray um, came from the hair store as well. Um, it was by NYX, and I think it was called like Dewey something. I don't know. Don't give me a laugh. It was my first time using it. to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more